Nomad, this is Bowman. Been a long time. You probably weren't expecting to go back to Aroa so soon. Let me set the scene. The U.S. Army never landed. Ships have been deployed to blockade the archipelago's perimeter. Every major nation is represented, with fingers on the trigger for whoever dares to claim control over Aroa's technological resources. Sounds like a grand old tropical paradise, doesn't it? The CIA's been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Our solution? We send the ghosts to deal with the inevitable sentinel resistance that'll arise while leaving no trace of our involvement. You, old friend, will help the outcasts win their independence. Feel fancy yet? We do this right, and maybe we won't have another motherfucking shit show like Bolivia. Clearing up all that shaved a decade off my already charmed existence. I don't care for a repeat. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the outcast camp. Good luck. Win Aroa her future. And try not to get killed. Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and welcome to Operation Motherland. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys everything you need to know to get started with Operation Motherland. Because for the last week and a half, I've actually been able to go hands-on with the DLC. And I'm really looking forward to hearing your guys' feedback on this because I really think you all are going to enjoy it. So real quick before we jump into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. I'm going to be uploading a quite a few videos this week as well as I'm going to be doing a few live streams as well. Also, for those of you that wish to support the creation of more content here on the channel, make sure you hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. It will be the top link down below in the description and it will allow you to gain access to a number of really cool emotes as well as a custom badge icon next to your name. So first things first, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, Operation Motherland takes place three months after the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And unfortunately, all we got was a text message at the start of the DLC saying that Nomad, Holt, and Midas were able to get off the island. And Operation Greenstone did come to a close, but now we are here under the jurisdiction of the CIA to kind of help stop a crisis, being the fact that the island of Aroa is now surrounded by ships of many nations trying to get their hands on the technology that Skell produced. So with that being said, once you get into Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you're going to want to go over to your Objectives tab and go right here in the middle. You will notice that this is where you're going to access the new Conquest mode, which pretty much is all of the DLC from Operation Motherland is going to be in this new mode, but some of it does carry over to the Story mode once you unlock it. And once you are in here, you're going to be going through region by region and doing destabilization missions like taking out vehicles, clearing bases, taking out drone swarms and Azrael drone production facilities. And this will slowly destabilize the region and you will gain intel as you do that to get the location on four Bodark lieutenants. Each lieutenant commanding over three regions and the final lieutenant commanding over Gollum Island. Once you conquer the three regions that a Bodark Lieutenant oversees, you're going to have to go and take him down. The cool thing though is, is you do have the option to either take them out or extract them. It is completely up to you and it does have some differentiating dialogues depending on what you do. Also with this brand new game mode, you're going to be seeing a handful of new enemies that are extremely difficult even on the easiest difficulty. They are truly not to be messed with, especially the Seeker, because you really need to keep your eye out for this enemy archetype. Because there are instances where they are walking around fully cloaked, and if you are not paying attention, you could very easily get ambushed. Also with that, the devs even went the extra mile and brought in some really cool features from the raid. But we are going to be having laser tripwires, as well as a number of the bases around the map are now outlined with mines that you're going to have to navigate past to get into these bases. For those of you that like playing on that extreme difficulty, one of these things can instantly kill you in this new DLC. So you're really going to have to look out for all of these things when you're actually playing through this new conquest mode. Now, For those of you that like tricking out your character in all new cosmetics, a lot of the really cool cosmetics you do not have to purchase in Maria's shop or the in-game store. 
All you need to do is simply play through conquest mode and you will unlock a number of really cool things, including the majority of the future soldier outfit items. But for those of you that like to get it all, there will be a number of new packs in the in-game store and a number of cool cosmetics that you're going to be able to pick up from Maria's shop. But with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. I didn't want to go super in-depth with this because I want you guys to be able to enjoy this first day of the DLC for yourselves. I will have a number of really cool videos going up throughout the week, so make sure to stay tuned for those. But like I said, that is all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you are excited about Operation Motherland finally being here. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. Also, for those of you that want to go the extra mile and show some extra support for the channel, make sure to click on that join button next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy Operation Motherland. Peace out.